Somebody ordered 10 triple beat. It was Uriel Chavez. Uriel, Uriel, are you watching? Uriel Chavez, you need your triple beat opened. Oh, who's this? Uriel. <laughs> I think this is a valuable one. S-A-R. I think this one might have just made him some money if I had to guess. That's the card. That's the one. <laughs> oh my God. He did it. You know what I should do? I should turn my camera off and then I should remove the card from the table like this. Oh no, I'm losing you guys. Whoa, oh my God. Whoa, we're back on everybody. All right, so Mr. Uriel Chavez, congratulations. <gasps> Where'd the card go? Oh, it's gone. Oh no. Oh, Uriel, uh, I think somebody took it. All right, here it is. <laughs> you know how fast I'd get canceled if that actually happened? <laughs> I heard about some uh, sport guys who did that kind of stuff. Whew. And then they were getting like investigated by the FBI or something. Unbelievable, man. How stupid can you be? Oh, you pulled a good one? Guess I'll keep it. I would like a booster box of Lost Abyss. Whoa, holy cow, man. Here we are. All right, let's see what we got. Snip that, let's snip this one. Pull the worm. All right, Nikolaj Rasmussen. So Nikolaj ordered a whole box of Lost Abyss. We're looking for the worm. There's Drapion, our favorite Pokemon. Come on, Nikolaj, let's get you it. Oh, wow, that's very good. All right, Nikolaj Rasmussen pulling alternative art. Rotom, such a cool pull, man. Congratulations. Wow, man, awesome. Much better than some boxes we've seen. You lucked out, Danny boy. Oh, it's a double hit. Wow. I told you guys, some boxes are double hits. Do you believe me now? Some boxes are double hits. That means one box in the case is cold. No, that's not true. Ah, another XY box unsealed. What do we got, Patrick? Oh, wow. Unbelievable. First pack in the box. Wow, out of one pack. Mr. $10 says no more full arts or better. I'll take that deal. $10? Who is that? You're going to pay up if you're wrong? Do you have any alt arts? They tend to get snatched immediately, Mr. Just the Tip. <laughs> oh, look at that. Full art whale lord. You're betting against the guy who opens cards for a living? <laughs> I knew my odds of a second full art were way higher than the odds of a single full art. Double or nothing for a third? If there's a third full art, you give me another 10. If there isn't a third full art, I give you back your 10. So we'll do it that way. What do we got? Skitty Tangle of Trico. Oh, where's ballpark player? Check this out. Oh, Primal Groudon. That's the pull, look at that. Why is this box so good? I don't know, I wish I'd opened it. Yeah, this is the box you wanna open. This exact box. Let's see what the poll says about the evolutions, by the way. Add evolutions and take my money. Okay, that was the vote. I'll be back, guys. I'm gonna go get you some evolutions. Look at this. Damn, dude. Oh, wow. That is a sealed case of evolutions. Mr. Rich and Pokies. When I bought this, this box cost me about 130 or 140 per box. I think it goes for almost 800 now, but you saw it come out of a sealed case with your own eyes. All right. So the goal is to pull a PSA 10 holographic charge out of here. I think he still goes for about $2,400, but there's some other good supporting cards. Like if you pull uh, the Charizard reverse hollow and you get a 10 on him, I think he probably goes for like 300, I would bet. Those are guesstimates, I'm just guessing. Pure guess, there we go. Mo money, mo money, that's right. Uh, a serious issue to have is mo money, mo money. Here's a random Star Wars pack. Christine Andrews, I need that Star Wars pack and I want the bulk. Here you are, Christine. This goes to Christine, everybody. Let's see what it is. I don't even know what it is, to be honest, Christine. It says tops on it. Oh, Christine, you did well, whatever this is. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's not, it's not a hollow. Oh, wow, Christine, this was a very lucky pack. Well, I'm happy this went to you, Christine, because you open a lot of cards over here. You've been hanging out with us for a while. I like to see that happen. Christine seems to have gotten a unique sketch artwork. That's pretty neat. What do you guys think of that? Look at this. How about that? Sketch art uh, by Philip something Smith. Wow, look at that. Christine, you're getting so lucky today. All right, she got that for four bucks. for six unbroken bonds. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. 
So cool, man. Unbroken bonds, muck and low and muck. So cool. Oh my God. How can it be that hot? Whoa, that's crazy, dude. And this one's actually pretty valuable. Sylveon Gardevoir, so random. Wow, we gotta clip that. That's wild, man. You just made some money on these, I think. Six packs nightmare before I go to bed. You got it, Jennifer. What's my favorite movie? Okay, so we recently watched the original trilogy, which was amazing. And then we watched the prequels and I was like, I'm watching it again as an adult. And I'm like, these are actually pretty well made. I think it's a very epic movie, Harry Potter. Not a top movie for me though, but but it's very good. Yeah. Pulp Fiction. Yes. Pulp Fiction. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what? Jennifer. Wow, Jennifer snipes the signature cloud. Unbelievable. You know this card, ungraded, just sold an auction for like 2.7 thousand, right? Man. You know, Kip and Tammy normally open this and they're gonna be kicking themselves because it was in this box and little old Jennifer here came in and sniped it on six packs. Unbelievable pull. Didn't expect it to be pulled so easily. We got the right case, man. Charizard, I sense that. I'm not gonna peek, no peeking. I'm not allowed to know. This is the card. Uh, definitely looks clean. Oh my God, such a fantastic start. Doesn't that look amazing? Rocket really brings me back. I still have that taste in my mouth of Rocket, the uh, the flavor of nostalgia, the smell of the air around me. I can, I can re remember the smell, the temperature. I remember the temperature of the air around me as I open up Team Rocket packs. Jennifer, oh, she was after you, man. Pull and eradicate. Jennifer Yap was this close. She had just about had you in her jaws. Caleb, again, having like a mixed good and bad luck. All right, could be a 10. <gasps> oh, what's this? Oh my gosh. That's that dark Charizard. What do you guys think? You think that's a clip? I think that's a clip. That's pretty impressive. We have Mr. Muhammad, 10 Japanese, lost of this. So Faisal Muhammad, what's up, man? How are you, mister? Sorry, I'm late to the stream. How's it going, Mr. Faisal Muhammad? I'm all right. Okay, here's a cold one. That guy is not returning that Zard. Man, oh! There we go. Oh my God, dude, that's an expensive card. How many lost to bussies did we open to reach this point? Wow. <laughs> there you go, guys. You were here to see this get pulled live. That's a big chase pull. Everyone wants that card right now. Beautiful for Mr. Faisal Muhammad. Aren't you glad you showed up? Hard to pull that, man. Unbelievable. That's definitely going to be a clip. Back in the day, we were opening up a case of Evolving Skies together. Do you guys remember that? And in the boxes, out of the entire case, there was not a single actual rare hit. Not a single chase card came out of the entire case. Now we know why. We were victims of that theft. <gasps> oh, beautiful Gengar VMAX. Wow, guys, looks like we did fine with our boxes. Beautiful. Oh my God. Mr. Nazari returns with 10 Fusion Strike. You got it, man. Pokemon says that the theft did not mess with the pulls. I don't believe him. Yeah, but we definitely received a case with no hits in it. I'm like acutely aware of it because I was selling them. Could be actually a legal case for them. So Pokemon can't have that. So officially they have to say, no, 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 no. Hit rates were fine. Oh, you got it. That's going to be Mew. Woo! All right, but we got the hot boxes, man. That's the second time you pulled it for me. Really? That's not normal. That is an unusually high pull rate. That card's super rare. We've only pulled a couple of those ever. I'll take two clay burst. Iona pulls only. I should have a bag. How do you pronounce her name? Wigglytuff. What? like it was nothing that's got to be it right it says sar down there what no way is that the two thousand dollar card oh my god i told you guys i get you the good stuff 
Man. Is it Iono? Oh, it is. Woo, look at that. Whoa, I'm scared to hold it wrong. <laughs> I'm holding it gently. Do you want to zoom? A little Pikachu picture in the back. She made, oh, she made pancakes. That's crazy. That's what we were talking about. We were talking about pancakes. So she's got a bunch of sweets. Very nice. Not healthy, but very nice. Dude, when I saw this character, I told my wife, this is going to be such a popular card whenever they make it. You guys ready for a big pack break coming up? All right, no looking. I'll tilt it away so I don't get an idea ahead of time what it is. Because if you look into the foil, you're going to get a, a hint of the color of the rare. All right, you ready? Edward Carranza, Mr. Edward. Oh man, Edward got a hit though. That is basically a chase card in this set. Dark Charmeleon. And this is why you get into breaks because you, you still have a chance to make a little bit of money if you get the right card. Oh, but it's Charmander. Oh my God, so cute. Another great card. Charmeleon Charmander. This pack's been hot for the common comments so far. Wow, she got War Turtle too. She's not getting the uh, chase pulls, but she is doing well. Dark War Turtle and Kadabra for Jennifer. The outcome is the way it is because the power of love. The moment that became the plot of interstellar i was done i was out i was pissed oh oh my god such a good booster pack that's dark blastoise our rounds of rocket have been excellent we got a dark blastoise and a dark charizard so fantastic all right here goes let's see how do these work bunch of cold ones you got hyos on ryu oh, i like how the names are actually kind of short I'm not gonna lie, this looks better than the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I see today. They're too complicated nowadays. Nowadays, they're like Supreme Chancellor of 12th Denial, Unbroken, or something like that. Ah, Dark Magician, Starlight. So they're all Starlight. So then you went Blue Eyes, Starlight. Left Arm of the Forbidden One. Third Leg of the Forbidden One. All right, what do we got over here? Hey, there we go. First time we got the Blue Eyes is a Starlight Rare. Good luck, I hope that grades 10. Oh, what's this? Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Dude, I'm loving these artworks. I feel like the artworks remind me of the past. You can actually see this with old Pokemon cards too. The new Pokemon cards look so highly produced. And then you look at the old Pokemon cards and they just look like drawings that some guy drew. You can really see the difference. Oh, we got Earthworm Gym. Yep, that's a Pokemon. It is literally a big worm. Pretty uh, innovative. Pokemon running out of ideas. Yeah, that is one stupid looking Pokemon. <gasps> oh, wow. Here we go. Urshifu Alternative Art. Whoa, it's the green bird Pokemon. This really makes me want to buy Pokemon. Oh my God. That's Squawkabilly. Oh, wow, Squawkabilly. More like peel my eyes out of my head ability. This just looks like Barrett from Monster Hunter, except Barrett was actually cool. Yeah, Barrett was way cooler than the design for this. Look at this, Jeff. You got the Squawkabilly Altart. Wow, it says S-A-R down there. So cute. <laughs> what is going on? I get it. They're fighting over there and he doesn't like it. Maybe he wants to join in a little bit. He says, those troublemakers, what a nuisance. This is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, check these out, guys. These are vintage. Uh, they are from, does it say on the pack? 2002, maybe. So this is like from 2002, guys. <laughs> That says America Online. Look, there's the AOL insignia. Yeah, this is old. All right, let's see what your cards are out of pack number one. Are you ready? You got Orcs. So you guys can't see it, but these cards have a 3D depth to them, and it looks super cool. But you can't see it through the camera. You can only see it with your bare eyes. Yeah, so I'm looking through the camera, and it's, it's not obvious through the camera. But with my bare eyes, I can easily see the 3D effect on these. Here's Frodo. Frodo. And then there, there appears to be, every pack appears to give you one of these. So this is more like a regular card. It looks like a refractor card. It's pretty nice quality. I like it. And, ooh, I like this one. This is that Cape Troll. Oh, and look, it's got the Techno Hollow on it. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. I don't anticipate these lasting very long. This is a one-time thing, just for fun. We got Arthur Bricker, one Evolutions, one Roaring Skies. That's a big order. Do you feel like the sports card community is staying in the older generations? I feel like it's less appealing to younger generations, unlike Pokemon, Pixar, and anime cards. Yeah, um, you know, let's put it like this. The older generation benefited from not having to compete. <gasps> oh, there we go. Arthur Bricker pulling Charizard, ooh. That's the chase card in this set. That looks fantastic. Look at that, guys. 
All right, I'm looking at it. So Arthur, you can see he's got a very visible print line up there. Probably not gonna grab that 10. Let's flip it around. Nice, man. Really nice looking card overall though. Great job. Arthur Bricker, everybody. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You know, lately the big hit pulls have been catching me off guard. There's a lot of those Charizards out there, so few tents. But you know, we open the evolutions because you might pull a 10 Charizard out. The one pack snipe. So now we need something. We need this. I played baseball and wrestled. I don't like them. <laughs> there we go. I can tell something is big when Mr. Gasps. 